Hey Aquarius, welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot, or welcome back if you're returning. Thank you so much if you are, guys. I appreciate you all who come back and support this channel every month. And thank you to anybody that has just found this channel. I'm glad you did. I hope the reading resonates with you. If it doesn't, check out your other placements before you check out. You might find something there that does. And if it does resonate, guys, please hit that thumbs up. It does help to grow the channel so I can bring you more free readings here on YouTube. Also, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can find my email address in the description box below the video. There you will also find the link to my Patreon page. I'll be uploading an extended reading for this one. I do for all my 12 Zodiac readings, and you can get access to all 12 for just $3.33 over there. So that's what's up there. Okay, guys, if you're new, you'll see that I use my pendulum to determine the direction of the cards. I don't just uh, take the reversals as they come out. I do have a lot of your cards already laid out here. To save you guys the time of seeing me shuffle everything, um, I will be shuffling on camera for your clarifiers, okay? So, Aquarius, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. It is meant to be a timeless reading uh, to kind of cover the 30 days after whenever you're led to this reading, okay? Keep in mind that time is an illusion, so it could have already played out, be playing out now or play out anytime in the future. But what I see you got going on here, Aquarius, is somebody is very much regretting not expressing their love. We have a soulmate situation here. I'm not going to pull these cards up and show them close up to you. Hopefully you can see them because it's just to set them up again. It takes up too much time to have to try to reset them up. But we do have the Romance Angels weighing in here with the soulmate card and express your love. So you are dealing with a soulmate and either you or this person... For some of you, I will tell you immediately when I pulled these cards, I know somebody told someone that they love them and the person did not reply with the correct reply. <laughs> they did not say it back and they are very much regretting this. Okay, so if that's you, that's a confirmation. Somebody out there has experienced that uh, recently. Okay, and whoever did not uh, reciprocate those sentiments is very much regretting this and fearing that this connection is actually over. I'll pick this one up. This is the Grim Reaper card. I don't feel like this connection is over. There's no reason for me to believe that with the rest of these cards, but somebody's definitely afraid that they may have done fucked it up. <laughs> okay, for good. Um, and they are very much regretting it. That could be you or them. Okay, it could be you, Aquarius, that, uh, that you might have just been recently, somebody may have expressed their feelings to you. And this express your love is actually some advice telling you, you you can be completely open with this person. It's okay to be vulnerable and express your feelings, okay? Um, and you may be having an epiphany about that. I will point out here, both of these cards are Scorpio energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. We got the Grim Reaper here, Lightning. This is like the Death and the Tower, right? And both cards talk about transformation. So somebody here in this connection is going through a transformation, okay? <clears throat> hold on one second. Um, hold on a second, Aquarius. I want to make sure that we are actually recording. Yes, we are. Okay. I couldn't see if it was actually going. I wanted to make sure. <laughs> Don't want to do all of this and then find out it wasn't recording. <laughs> all right. So, guys, yeah, it's Scorpio energy. Somebody's going through a transformation, possibly a spiritual awakening, even. Okay with that kind of energy. I know that there's a lot of spiritual awakening going on right now, guys. We are having a, if you're watching this now in July of 2021 and you're Aquarius, well, guess what? I chose to do you first. I usually do Gemini out of the air signs first. I chose to do you guys first today because we are having a full moon in Aquarius right now. And we're actually going to have two this month. The next full moon will also be in Aquarius. It's big energy, guys. And I know you're feeling it. I only have my North Node in uh, Aquarius, but I will tell you that I'm feeling it because I have everything in my in the fixed signs. So everything going on in Aquarius is squaring or opposing everything I have. But uh, I know you're feeling it, okay? It's big, big energy and, uh, you know, let's just uh, stay strong and, you know, everything's working out for our highest good. That's what you need to remember, okay, Aquarius? All the changes that everybody's going through. I know Aquarius is going through a lot of changes. Um, but they're all for your highest good. Okay. So, uh, we do have the turquoise spirit coming up here. Number 57 could be significant or 12 because five and seven is 12 or three. You could be seeing three, three, three. We have dolphin spirit coming up here. That's number 20. So that's a two. Both of these are about storytelling guys. Okay. So I feel spirit is, is encouraging you to go back over the events that have played out with this person and like, there may be like maybe see things in a different way a different perspective you don't have to stick to the story that you've 
you know, been believing about this connection, about this person, you can rewrite your own story and you write your story. Nobody else does. Just because somebody else doesn't see what you're seeing in this story doesn't mean it isn't true. Okay. So you can, you know, I feel like you're being encouraged to do a review here. Okay. And also with the dolphin spirit coming up, it's this and that are true. I feel like you're being um, reminded that there are two sides to every story and things are not always what you think they mean. Things that happen, like if the person did not reply to you or didn't say it back, you might assume they just don't love you because they didn't say it back, but that's not always true. Sometimes people are just terrified of those words or something else, you know? Uh, but either way, this person, if they didn't say they loved you back, or it, it doesn't have to be just that. Also, I want to point out, it doesn't have to just be that. It could be anything. There was some sort of imbalance in this connection, for sure. You felt like your feelings weren't reciprocated, or you feel like that still, or you just feel like this person can't give you an equal give and take. They're not matching your energy, and that's very frustrating for you. I can feel it, okay? Um, that's why I feel like it's probably more you guys that have not been getting the balance or you guys didn't get a, uh, the right response. If you're that, you know, I don't know that that's a lot of you, but somebody out there said, I love you and didn't get it back. And I'm sorry, but I don't think it's because this person doesn't love you. They do. They're your soulmate for sure. I think there's something they're afraid of and they are afraid that they have ruined everything. They want to offer you something solid. Aquarius, the Ace of Pentacles is coming up in their feelings for you. That means that they really see you as a really solid, awesome, golden opportunity. And uh, they want to offer you something solid. So it could also be like, you know, one of you wanted a commitment. The other one ran away or something like that. Um, definitely in the past, we have temperance in reverse. There was definitely an imbalance in this connection. Uh, you may have even felt like, I mean, obviously, I feel like somebody felt like their love was unrequited. Okay. There was just an unequal exchange of energy. Um, you could have had an attempt at reconciliation before and it did not take. <laughs> Maybe it ended up making things worse because temperance is in reverse. Somebody may have a lack of self-control in some area with temperance in reverse. Okay. But I feel like it's with this here, these two both cards being about balance, I feel like you did not feel this person reciprocated your feelings or was able to reciprocate your energy appropriately. They weren't matching your energy, okay? Uh, definitely had to do with expression, though, I will say. Most of you, this is about expressing love, okay? We've got that card coming up here, and I, I definitely feel that. And this is the blockage. The Page of Cups is in reverse. So, nobody, Somebody's not expressing their feelings, Okay, that's the blockage. End of story. Okay, there's not communication very much right now at all, if any, and it's not very fluffy. Okay, if there is any. Somebody is not expressing their love, period. That is the blockage. Okay, there's some sort of fear about it because the vulnerability card is here, meaning somebody is afraid to be vulnerable. The sun is in reverse, which is just, that's your overall energy, this connection. You're not happy and neither are they. And you both feel like you're in the dark. You're wondering what the other one's up to. You're wondering why, why didn't they, or why did they do this or whatever. There's just a general lack of clarity about this connection and the feelings of the other person and what's gonna happen next, right? Well, I'm telling you what's gonna happen next. Um, this person's coming your way to make things right. Okay, justice is here. This is their most likely next move in regards to you. They wanna come and make this right, okay? That's plain and simple, all right? Um, they're making a decision to do it and spirits advising you and your advice, this ain't over. So it looks over. You're fearing it's over. Maybe they're fearing it's over with that Grim Reaper here. It's not over. People are having epiphanies in this connection. You, them, somebody's having an epiphany an awakening of some sort. This is about lessons learned. The world is about lessons learned. So you guys are wrapping up some lessons. They're not quite over yet. Doesn't mean that the connection will dissolve after that, but I'm not going to lie. It could. These soulmate situations come into our lives sometimes to just teach us a lesson and then somehow we just drift apart or they could be your forever person. I do feel like you're going to have a new beginning with this person. I'll tell you why in a minute, but, uh, yeah, it's not over. You're still learning lessons. There may be distance between you and this person. Okay. Uh, but definitely this cycle has not completed with this person is what you're being advised here. And then we see once it does complete, you're going to start a whole new one. Okay. We have the fool as your outcome. That is a brand new beginning. Okay. It also indicates that there is a risk. That's why somebody is feeling, you know, afraid. Okay. There's fear involved with the fool. Okay. Because there's a risk, but it's, it's there. You're there right there, ready to take that leap of faith. And so is your person in this outcome. Okay. So let's go ahead and clarify and see what else we can uh, find out here. Spirit, please for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. 
in the sign of Aquarius for the next 30 days from whenever they're led to watch this reading, please. Clarify these cards in the order that they're laid out. Two by two, please. Underneath, before I even cut, we have the King of Cups in the upright there. Um, just showing himself to me. That's unspoken emotions, guys. The King of Cups usually keeps him on the inside. Please clarify the overall energy for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus in their person of interest. All right. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Spirit of the top 14 cards, the correct cards to clarify the ones that are already laid out here for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus and their person of interest are the two cards here at the bottom of the deck, the overall energy clarifiers. Upright or reverse, the Ace of Cups. Upright or reverse, the Ace of Cups. Ooh. Ooh, upright or reverse the lovers. Okay, so lovers is in reverse. Ace of Cups is in the upright. Okay, so that tells me that there is an imbalance, definitely, with the lovers. There may be a choice that needs to be made. Some of you guys might be dealing with a third-party situation or dealing with the fallout from a past third-party situation, okay? Or there's a pending decision that needs to be made. Could involve another person. You're in the dark, possibly. You don't know what to do or what, what they're going to do. But there is healing taking place, okay, right now with the Ace of Cups. You're loving yourself right now, Aquarius. And I feel like your person may be learning something about that, too. There is a new opportunity here, okay, in this connection. This is the overall energy of the connection, okay? So I feel like maybe you don't realize it, but you are getting another chance, okay? We have the Fool there and the Ace of Cups and the overall energy. I feel like the Ace of Cups is hidden, from you you can't tell that it's really there it's there the healing is there the new cup is there it's ready it's a renewal of this connection but right now you can't see it you can't see it but your cup is about to come the cup is overflowing but because of this breakup or whatever that just happened you can't see that it's there and that it's coming okay so let's clarify you feel like this person doesn't reciprocate your feelings plain and simple with the six of pentacles coming up in reverse upright or reverse the eight of pentacles you probably feel that way because they have not been putting the effort in. The Eight of Pentacles is in reverse. They just not have been, been they have not been putting in the appropriate amount of effort matching your effort. Upright or reverse, the two of swords. And you feel like there's an impasse. You just can't take that anymore. You want somebody that matches your energy. Okay, so you you may have a decision to make. All right, you may have another option, Aquarius, or uh, uh, I don't really feel like it's your person, but possibly in the past. I feel like this is just really a stalemate kind of energy. Like you were like, well, I've done all I can here. All right. If they're not going to, you know, even try or, you know, give me back, you know, half of what I'm putting in. I, there's nothing else I can do. My hands are tied. <laughs> right. Um, because, you know, you're not just going to keep giving to a situation that's not giving you anything back in return at all right? So there's some sort of impasse here. You feel blocked by this person. You may have blocked them, especially if you're somebody that was dealing with a third party uh, issue in the past. But again, some of you may have a choice between two. I'm just pointing that out. All right. Not a lot of you, but some of you. All right. They want to offer you the pinnacle upright or reverse the six of swords. Try to put an end to all this madness. They want to sail on into smoother waters with you and uh, try to, you know, get some, gain some traction in this connection. They want to move forward. And offer, you know, solid with the pentacle. Upright or reverse the fool. And there's the fool and the outcome. You could be dealing with Aries, guys. Uh, you don't have a whole lot of major arcana here, but you do have the sun, which is Leo. Gemini energy with the lovers. Libra with justice. Sagittarius with temperance. 
So actually you do have quite a bit of major arcana and the fool with uh, Aries with the fool. And I already said Scorpio with these two cards here. So those are the main signs that I am seeing. I usually lean more on the major arcana for a uh, sign, you know, to give you any kind of sign confirm confirmations because most of the ma minor arcana signs elements will show up, you know, so the major arcana I feel are more for that. Uh, but yeah, your person definitely wants to take a leap of faith towards you. They want to, you know, offer you something solid so that you guys can move past this uh, challenge. All right. So in the past, definite imbalance with temperance, upright or reverse, the four of cups. Yeah, I feel like you offered this person and were rejected. You offered this person your love or a relationship, a commitment or something, and they just weren't taking it. Upright or reverse, the Ten of Cups. Yeah, and that puts you in some kind of way. It made you very unhappy. That's why the Sun is in reverse. The, the Ten of Cups are in reverse here. Just this lack of... You felt like your love was unrequited. Un, end of story, Aquarius. I'm sorry. I don't think that it is, but I know that feeling it, it's still real, right? When you feel like it is, it's real as fuck, <laughs> all right? So I'm really sorry. This person rejected you, okay? Even if it wasn't a flat-out rejection. I feel like it was, though, guys, for many of you. You like offered this person your life. Like, let's let's do this. You know, like I, I love you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And they just acted like like they didn't feel the same way. But that is not the case. Okay, they do. Uh, but for whatever reason, they are afraid of expressing that I feel. Okay. So, but you really, it really threw you for a loop. Rejection sucks, guys. I'm sorry you had to feel that. But, you know, it's part of our lessons. We it, Part of the reason that we face rejection, besides it being for our protection, okay, is also to toughen us up, all right? You know, it's not about, you know, if somebody else can't see your value, that's their problem, not your problem. There's plenty of people that will see your value, okay? That means they don't, they need to clean off their lenses. They're not looking through the right glasses, all right? So, but either way, it still hurts regardless. That's what I feel happened here. Somebody's still not expressing their love, and that is what is holding this connection up. Upright or reverse, the two of wands. <coughs> there may be distance here, and there's definitely a choice that needs to be made that somebody is stalling and not making it. All right? Upright or reverse, the four of pentacles. Yeah, I, I think your person is just very um, closed up. Their heart is guarded, okay? They may need to do some heart chakra work with the turquoise coming up here. That's throat chakra work um, that they should probably do. But yeah, I mean, the page of cups in reverse, they're not communicating, not speaking. There may be distance between you. There's a lack of a choice. This person may feel like they're at the crossroads, but they just don't know what choice to make. They're locked up. Their heart, I feel that their heart chakra is closed, okay? They may, there may be some sort of financial issue here and that they may be afraid, uh, that may be something to do with it, afraid of, uh, sharing, you know, shared things for some reason. This is a, a miserly card, guys, okay? So it could just be their time, their emotions, you know, keeping their feelings locked up, absolutely protecting themselves, but it could also be a greedy energy. There could be something like that for some of you where somebody's afraid to, you know, share, uh, some things they may, you may be dealing with somebody with a lot of money. Okay. And like, so maybe like if you talked about marriage or something that may be a, they may be afraid of that or something. Okay. Um, uh, but I don't think it's going to hold them back. We have justice coming up. Some of you may actually get a marriage proposal with justice coming up here in their most likely next move. Just saying, uh, up, ooh, up right or reverse the three of swords. Yeah, they know they freaking broke your heart. And for some of you, it definitely was a third party situation with lovers and the three of swords and all these twos upright or reverse the nine of swords. Yeah, they know they have put you through it and they're going to do whatever they need to do to, to make it right. That's what they intend to do. That's their most likely next move. And that's what they're thinking about doing. Keep in mind that people have free will. People can also be chicken shits and coward out at the last moment and they may never come and do this. But this is what they want to do. This is what they're thinking about doing. This is what they're most likely to do. They want to unbreak your heart, put an end to your sleepless nights and all your anxiety and just make this right. Lock it down. Make it official. Some of you could be going Facebook official or some shit like that. Okay, but either way, they want to make something official with you they want to officially make this right all right it's 
Spirit says, it ain't over till it's over. That's a song. Look it up. I don't, I don't know that it applies here, but maybe it will resonate for some of you upright or reverse uh, the Empress. I think it's, it might be Lenny Kravitz. Yeah, I think it is. The Empress. Taurus, Libra energy. We have two cards of Libra now. Upright or reverse the King of Swords. Some of you guys might be Empress. Uh, you might have Taurus or Libra in your chart. You do not have to. You could just be somebody who knows you're freaking fabulous, okay? And not in like a stuck up way either, guys. Okay, so, yes, the Empress knows her worth. Him or her, it doesn't matter. It does not have to be a female, okay? But this is just somebody who really takes care of themselves. They know if they don't take care of themselves, ain't nobody else gonna take care of themselves, uh, take care of them, okay? So they take care of themselves and anybody that they allow in their life is gonna be somebody that adds value, not somebody that causes them freaking stress, okay? That is not what the Empress is gonna be putting up with. But the Empress is like a mother figure, okay? Like, it doesn't mean that, you know, like a maternal. There, you This connection that you have with this person, which by the way, the King of Swords, this is your energy, this could be you, okay? Uh, Aquarian energy, air energy, could be male or female, doesn't matter, okay? Um, the connection that you have with this person, I feel like this is you two, okay? It's not over between this Empress and the King of Swords, all right? I feel like there may be some element to your connection, uh, a maternal element, or it doesn't have to be maternal. It's just like a teaching maybe element or like, um, you know how, uh, like, I feel like you may be encouraging or teaching this person some sort of spiritual lesson. Okay. The Empress I feel is teaching this King of Swords a lesson maybe in how to express. Okay. Or helping this person come out of their shell and express their feelings. Okay. Uh, but it's like the way, the reason I say mother, it's kind of like, you know, how mother like coaxes their child or, you know, like kind of nut, like not meddling, but kind of like nudges them along. Think of a mama duck and a baby duck, kind of like the baby duck starts to waddle off and the mother duck kind of scoots it over here. So you're kind of like helping this person somehow. I feel like, I feel like there's a maturity difference, even though this is a king, this is an empress. So I feel like you might be a little bit spiritually more evolved with this person and you're being patient. Okay, I feel like you know this person is going through some sort of transformation, okay? And that, I don't know, I just feel like there's some sort of teaching element here or nurturing element. Like, you really have a nurturing healing effect on this person, okay? Um, but yeah, it's definitely not over, okay? And this, as far as advice goes, you're being advised it's not over. You still can nurture this connection, okay? And there is definitely love here and this connection can grow. You, need, you, do, you do need to make a decision. I'm stuttering, I don't know why. Uh, you, I feel, might have a decision to make, okay, here with this King of Swords. And you do need to be as, just speak as frankly as you can to this person. Be truthful, you know, and uh, yeah, I do see a conversation coming. So let's see this fool. Uh, keep in mind, we'll get more about how your person feels about you, more about their most likely next move, give you more advice and get more on your outcome. If you follow me over to the extended on Patreon, we'll get oracles and take a look um, at a lesson you've been learning on your journey with this person, as well as getting direct messages with the hidden truth oracle, direct messages from them. The link will be is below if you want that. Otherwise, let's get your last two cards here for your outcome, clarifying the fool, upright or reverse the moon. We always want to see the moon in reverse for sure. Upright or reverse the queen of wands. Ooh, why is the queen of wands in reverse? Oh my gosh, I'm definitely gonna wanna see that in the extended. Um, Yeah, okay, so I feel like honestly, hmm. There's definitely, uh, I feel like this made this fool here. There's definitely a risk in a new cycle, a new beginning. Things are going to be revealed. It's going to be very clear going forward. But I feel like some of the things that there may be some sort of argument that has to take place first, guys, okay, uh, to get to this place of clarity, okay? The Queen of Wands in reverse can be angry. Um, this can also be about a third party, guys. This could be a third energy being revealed. Somebody coming clean about it, okay? Um, but the fool is in the upright. I mean, maybe somebody's going to take a risk and tell you the truth about a third party situation. 
certainly could be that we're going to get more in the uh extended okay guys but wow i was not expecting this freaking queen of wands in reverse in your outcome i can't wait to find out what is up with her or him it doesn't have to be female energy keep that in mind okay guys but either way uh this is it's fire energy and it's passionate but it's in the reverse so something is going to be revealed it could be something about another person okay the queen of wands in reverse can often be the other woman right um and the fool you know it's it's all about taking a risk taking a leap of faith but i feel like it's still to heal okay so even if this person is coming clean about this you know if they had somebody else which sucks i'm so sorry if that's the case, um, it's still meant they're taking a leap of faith. They're telling you the truth because they want to heal the situation, guys. All right. I do feel like they want to make things right. OK, so it could also be your choice, but it's not that in, their intentions towards you is to not break your heart or to unbreak your heart. So if they're making a choice, they're choosing you. OK, so follow me over to the extended if you want to find more or find out more. Otherwise, if this is where we part ways, guys, thanks so much. Good luck with this situation. I hope you have a beautiful month whenever you find this reading. Stay safe, healthy, and sane out there, and I'll check you back in another 30. Thanks. Bye.